Microsoft Office is something that almost every single student and teacher and even random people use. But one of the most annoying things to me is that you have to install every single app in the Microsoft Office suite. So for example, I typically only need Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. It used to bundle in Teams, Publisher, Outlook, Skype, all these extra things I don't need. So I finally figured out how to install only the stuff you need, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. This part of the video is mainly tailored towards my students and teachers or just anyone that wants to buy a Microsoft Office really cheaply. So I don't buy it directly from Microsoft and I don't buy it from Curry's. What I do, I go on Google and find some really good websites that sell it really cheaply. For example, one of the first websites I found is called, um, what's the name of it? Premium CD Keys. I am not sponsored by these guys. I don't know them. I bought from them back in June or July of this year, 2024, and the key's been working fine ever since. I reached out when it did stop working at one point and they sent me a new key and that's perfectly fine. You might have to do activation over the phone, but honestly, it takes like three minutes. You you call the number, you put in the code on your screen, they send you a text message and the text message, you simply fill in the details and you're done. So again, premium CD keys, you can get Microsoft Office for two pounds, sorry, not even pounds, two euro 50. So that's very, very cheap. Another one I found, which was very surprising to me, was Woucher. So if you go to the Woucher website and just type in Office 2024, Office 2021, I really like Office 2021 for the main fact that it has publisher still bundled in. Microsoft Office 2024 no longer has publisher. So I actually went and bought in 2024, in June or July, I bought Office 2021 because I get publisher bundled and it's wonderful and perfect for creating Christmas cards, birthday cards, showing students how to design things is really good for that. And finally, we have Groupon. So Groupon is another one I didn't expect this from. Groupon um, is selling it for, again, here, £8.50 for Office 2021. That's a steal. Because I think if you buy this from Curry's, the 2024 version, you're spending at least £80 as a student. So any students out there who think they need to have Microsoft Office installed locally because maybe you don't always have access to the internet to use the online versions of the apps, or you might want to use Microsoft Access, or you might want to use Microsoft Publisher, then this is a really, really good option. £8 or £2.50, or what was this? This was... Uh, 29 pounds you can't really go wrong so let's continue so there are going to be two websites i need you guys to go to i'm going to put these in the description as well or you can simply google them the first one is going to be office deployment tool the very first website that comes up i'm going to click on that one then i'm going to go to download here it's going to download a very tiny app and again it's like 3.6 megabytes so let me go to my downloads folder and show you exactly what that looks like let's drag this across so this is the app it's going to download don't do anything with it just yet leave it for now then i'm going to go and close this one and I'm going to go to Office Customization Tool. Again, just Google Office Customization Tool is going to come up. I'm going to click on that first one there and I'm going to go through and choose the stuff that I want. For example, it says, which architecture do you want to deploy? Most people are going to be on 64-bit. Windows 11 is only 64-bit if memory serves. So you're going to want to click on 64-bit. Uh, it says Office Suite. You choose the version of Office that you have. Again, I really like Office 2021. So I'm going to go with Office 2021 uh, Professional Plus. I'm going to click on Volume License, SPLA. I don't think it really matters which one of these you click on but when i did this myself i clicked on spla when i bought it from media man or from um, premium cd keys that's what i clicked on so i'm going to click on this again if you have a different version of office for example office 2024 professional obviously you click on that one instead for me i'm going for that one visio i don't need that going to leave it blank project i don't need that additional product i don't need anything extra here down here i'm going to leave it as it is select the version latest naturally so these are all the things that typically get installed in microsoft office let's just say for argument's sake you're somebody that doesn't need all of these. I need quite a few of these. So let me untick everything quickly and go through and tick the ones that I want. I would want Microsoft Access because I believe I do have to finish a course on Microsoft Access. I would probably want PowerPoint as well. That's standard. Microsoft Word is standard. Microsoft Excel is standard. I don't need Skype. I don't need OneNote. I don't need Outlook. I don't need um, OneDrive for desktop. Publisher, I might need. This is what I used to teach some students how to do Christmas cards, birthday cards, business cards, so on and so forth. So I'm going to put these things in. So of the nine apps on here, I only only need what's that five then i'm going to click on next it's going to say language i'm going to click on the arrow here it's going to come up on the right hand side and i'm going to choose english united kingdom obviously choose whichever one you want then i'm going to click next again installation i'm not going to touch anything here to be fair i don't think i need to touch anything anywhere else i'm going to click next again for license i'm going to turn this on and down here it says mac when you purchase the key from wherever you purchase it from there they're going to give you a product key what you can do is you simply put the key in here you might still have to activate when you open up for the first time 
but don't worry just paste the key in here so let's just imagine this is the key that we've put in i'm going to go ahead again and click on next on the general i'm not going to touch anything here nothing under here as well don't worry about scrolling through and messing with any of this i'm simply going to scroll down on this side here until i get to finish at the bottom here click on finish once you've clicked on finish you're going to click on export you can click here or you can click here it doesn't really matter which one you click on click on export i'm going to keep current settings it doesn't really matter which one you click on here but i'm going to keep current settings click on ok i accept and you can change the name of this if you really want to but i'm going to leave it exactly as it is it does not need to be changed click on export and that's going to go to my downloads folder as well so in my downloads folder now i've got two things i need to focus on this original one i downloaded earlier office deployment tool and the configuration file the first thing you want to do you want to double click on office deployment tool something just popped up on my screen you won't be able to see it because of the software i'm using it says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device i'm going to click on yes it's going to come up with this window here and all you need to do is to click on click here to accept click on continue and it's going to ask you again from this window let me minimize all of this minimize it's going to ask you where do you want to save stuff i'm going to choose my downloads folder because it's just easier for me and my folder is empty choose wherever you want i'm going to click on downloads here then i'm going to click on ok once I've done that, another window pops up, which is this one here. Click on OK. I'm going to open my downloads folder again. And as you can see, I have some extra files in there. And I've got setup down here, configuration office 365 here. And I've got my two original files. What you need to do now is open command line at this specific location. A few ways we can do it. At the very top of the screen, you can type CMD and that will open command line, which is going to be this black box here. Or you can right click here and you can do open in terminal. That does exactly the same thing. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but sometimes this might not work if you don't run command line as administrator. So what I would recommend is open command line as an administrator and go from there. So press the start menu. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to type CMD. I'm going to right click on command prompt and run as administrator. It's going to pop up with that same thing again that says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You won't see it on my screen, but it should pop up on your screen. I'm going to click yes. And when I click yes, the same thing is going to pop up over here. Let me zoom in as much as I can. Now what I need to do, I need to navigate from this location, which is C drive, Windows, System32. I need to navigate to my downloads folder. To do this quickly, you type CD, which is just change directory, and you type the location of your downloads folder. If you save this somewhere else, for example, desktop, you simply change downloads to desktop. So I'm going to paste that here because I copied it earlier. So for me, my location of downloads folder is C drive, the users folder, run all, R-O-N-A-L, I don't know why I left off the D, and then downloads. Again, if yours was desktop or documents, you simply change this word here. So desktop would be that one. Then documents would be D-O-C-U-M-E-N-T-S. Documents would be that one. But for me, it's going to be downloads. So I'm going to simply finish that. I'm going to press enter and then now my command prompt is pointing to this specific location now from here this is where it gets a bit sticky for some people all you need to do is to set up configure using the configuration file so the way this works you're going to go to setup type setup.exe so again this is this file here it's pointing to because we're in that location now it's pointing to that file then you press space go forward slash configure c-o-n-f-i-g-u-r-e space again and then from here we do the name of the file that we downloaded from that website microsoft website called configuration now this can be any name you want it to be but i left mine as configuration and the file format is an xml file so what that means is i'm going to do configuration dot xml so configuration xml and from here all you need to do is to press enter and everything should work perfectly fine because i already have microsoft office installed i'm not going to go through this because it might clear my installation and i'll have to do the activation again but once you've done that it will come up with the normal windows microsoft installation thing and then after that you open word excel powerpoint whichever program you chose to use and then you simply activate it with either email or the code that you got from that website thanks for watching Hopefully that was useful.